Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to make a bash script on a Mac and then how to make it executable. So the first thing I want to do is bring up text edit. So uh, bring it up through Spotlight. <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, make a bash script. So we need to start with the standard commands. So we do Alt 3, which is the way you get a hash symbol on a Mac, exclamation mark forward slash bin, forward slash bash. And then we'll just do the most basic of uh, commands. Uh, we'll do hello from Gala Technology. G. Okay, now as you can see here, it is, um, we've got the formatting options here. We don't want those, we just want to make it plain text. We don't want to save anything outside of the script with <clears throat> along with it. So we'll go to file, choose save as, okay. We don't want to save it as a text file at all. We just want to save it. Uh, where we'll call it uh, I don't know, first script, okay, and we'll save it to my my home folder. Click save, okay. So if we go down to Finder, we can see there we go. There's our first script, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the info on it, okay. And let's look at the permissions, because permissions are very important when you're making uh, an executable command. Now, what this has at the moment is it has rewrite permissions for myself and read only for everybody else. What it doesn't have is executable permissions. So what we want to do is we want to set that to executable. Now, I, you cannot change the executable um, there's no option here, we've just got read, write and read only. We don't have executable here. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go into the terminal. So using Spotlight again, we'll bring up the terminal. Okay. And we will, uh, what do we call it? First script. So we'll go list, and I want to see the permission, so the dash L, and we'll type in first script. Okay, so here we go. So this is basically showing us again what we saw in the permissions from the get info command. Okay, the ignoring the first one, we've got them in groups of three. So we've got read, write, dash. We want an execute there, and then groups have got read, write. I've got read only. So read, dash, dash, and everyone has got read only. So read, no write, no execute. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to change that. Now the easiest way. So we use the ch the chmod command, okay, and if we use the, the number 700, that will give us a read, write, execute for myself only, and it will set the um, it will set the permissions for the other ones for no read and no write for the other groups and everybody else, and then we say the name of the um, script we want to change. Now I'm just going to move this so we can just see the script just above it, okay. So I'm chmod, the number 700, first script. I'm just going to hit return. And did we see that in the background there, the, um, the script has changed and we can now see it's executable. Okay, so now if I now type first script, I get the command not found because it's looking in the bash folder for it. So what I have to do is I have to tell it to search in the local folder, the folder we're in, which is that command there, and now I can type in first script and we get hello from Gala Technology. So that is how you create a bash script and then make it executable on a Mac.